Hi guys, thanks to you for joining us today for Backyard Bible Club Online. Now, if you guys want to, we have other videos in this series about our Sermon on the Mount, talking about everything that Jesus talked to us about on there, and all the great lessons and everything we can learn from there. And now I just want to say, if you guys want to, there are videos beforehand that you guys can watch before watching this one. And there's also some fun crafts videos that go along with it too. And I recommend doing those crafts while you're watching the videos, even the ones for this lesson too. Because it will help you rem remind you of what it is we are doing. So, today's lesson is about judging others. But not in the sense of like gossiping or how someone looks or anything. We're not talking about that. Not today. What we're talking about is that we are talking about how people act when someone is mad. And if we have the right to do something mean to them for doing that. So how many of you guys have ever been mad before? Because I know I get mad quite easily over some little things sometimes. Never like really mad as in like the, my head's gonna blow up like in a cartoon or I have steam coming out of my ears. Wish I could do that. That'd be really cool and really awesome. But one thing that this is talking about is like being mad about something and acting upon being angry. So like when something is happening to you, like let's say you have a friend who makes fun of you or doesn't agree with you, and that makes you mad and not feel good inside. And you say something mean back to them, or you hurt them, or you do something to some extent to them that's not nice, acting out of anger, that's bad. We're not supposed to do that. The Bible says not to do that at all. And basically, we talks about that in the Sermon on the Mount, in, Ma in the book of Matthew, Jesus is talking about it. Now basically, what Jesus is talking about while he's on the Sermon on the Mount, during this part, that he uses the example of murder, which is when someone is killed, or you kill someone unlawfully, or in a mean way, just killing them. And so basically, what happens is, is that Jesus is saying, even if you think murdering is bad, committing murder is bad, but if you even think about harming someone because they have done you wrong, or because you, they have hurt you, or have said something mean to you, that is wrong. The thought of it is just as bad. And that's one thing that we need to focus on, is that when we worry about stuff and judging others, which is when we act upon what we're feeling to give someone a punishment. Kind of like if you're a judge in the courtroom, you know, the guys with the wigs and the gowns and the gavels that go, order, order, order. Those guys, those guys are judges and they judge people and give them treatments for laws or anything else that's going on. Now, that's what Jesus is saying. We're not judges. We're not the big judge, God. We're not able to control any of that stuff. And so basically, we need to follow what Jesus says and just be able to forgive others and show love to others. Now, even when we're angry, we cannot act upon in an evil way. That is wrong. We cannot do that. And so that's one reason, another thing, of why being loving and caring is so important. Because... We, by doing that and trying to show love to others, even those who have done wrong to us, like the video that I shared in our packet, it kind of shows and goes along with that. Because that guy in the beginning of it, the cucumber, the one with the weird hat, he got hurt quite a bit. And people were mean to him. And he didn't do anything wrong to any of them. And also, because of that, he also was treated horribly. But no one else wanted to help him. And so someone else did help him and then showing love and kindness to each other. And they were from different groups. And there's a lot of stories like that that happens in the Bible that for comparisons, these parables, which we'll get into those into a different lesson later on. So just remember the word, that word. Now, that also help with remembering this, remembering what it is we need to do. There's a fun little skit we have going on with puppets. I love puppets too. So first off, we're going to do that and... Then we'll go back on to the rest of our lesson. Once upon a time, there was an owl named Bob and a dog named John. Now, Bob and John were really good friends. They'd play games together, watch movies together, eat food together, and just hang out all the time. But one day, Bob and John went to go watch a movie. They went and they watched the movie. They ate the popcorn. They ate candy. They had a whole lot of fun doing it. And they loved the movie. But once it was over, they were walking back. They were talking about the movie. Talking about their favorite characters and who was awesome and what they liked about the movie. And then their favorite part of the movie. And this, this caused an issue. 
because Bob and John both liked different parts of the movie. And they both disagreed and talked about it and were talking really loud and mean to each other about what their favorite parts were. And they started getting mean and rude and they just started just going after each other, saying mean things to each other. And then John said he did not want to be friends anymore with Bob and that made Bob feel sad. And as John's leaving, Bob was thinking that he should do something mean to, mean to John. Then he remembered. Bob remembered that Jesus talks about in the Bible that we are supposed to be loving and caring and that judgment is his, up to God and up to Jesus to do something, not us to judge and be mean. And so Bob is deciding to do something mean. He should leave it for God. He should ask for forgiveness. And he shouldn't do anything because it's just as bad as doing something. And so he just uh, stays quiet. He forgives John and just agrees that they have different points of views and they agree differently. And they just continue on from there. And they become friends again and they end happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that fun little play we had of Bob and John and also just like them that you remember that when we get angry we can't act upon what we feel and what we do and we can't say mean things or even hurt others because that's not up to us because again we are not the judge we are not able to do everything God is the judge of us all he's able to judge and exact on what is right for doing something wrong or mean now I also want to pray for us and I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video and I'll pray us out Dear God, thank you for our stay you've given all of us. And just I pray, Father, that you help us to learn and to remember that you are the ultimate judge and that you are the one who can only exact these things. That it is all right also for us to be angry and to feel these ways when we're upset or mad or just angry. But Father, I just pray that you just help us to remember that we can't exact and move upon those actions and upon those feelings because, Father, that is wrong and that is not what we're supposed to do. Father, I just pray you help us and remind us that. And just thank you for teaching us that too. And I also pray that you help us have a great rest of our week and then just keep us safe as we continue on through the rest of our summer and also through just life. I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Bye, guys. I hope you guys will watch the videos next week and stay tuned for our next video of The Craft.